Hi, my name is Marilyn, and for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create these rainbow eyelashes. Colored lashes have been trending ever since Isabelle DeVries released her colorful eyelash collection. There's been many tutorials floating around of how to do colored eyelashes, but today I'm going to be showing you how to do these rainbow ones. So if you'd like to see how these are created, then just keep on watching. So this is the eyelash that I'm going to use. It's a pair of Creme Shop Wispies, and I've already gone through with the Ben Nye Monster Wheel and painted the lash white with the cream color and set it with the white eyeshadow. This is gonna be the base for the rainbow lash. The cream colors that I'm using for the rainbow eyelashes are gonna come from the Ben Nye Rainbow Wheel. I'm making sure to switch brushes in between so that the colors stay as vibrant as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to go over it with eyeshadow anyway. But I still need to do the other lash. So this is kind of an intricate look so I want to keep the brushes to be able to paint the other lash and also the underside. The purple that I mixed is a little too dark, so I'm actually, since I primed this already with white, I'm actually just gonna try to see if it'll take with just the eyeshadow instead of putting that uh, cream underneath. I'm gonna be using a purple pigment shadow, so hopefully it works. So I'm just gonna leave it like that and paint the underside. This part is actually the most important I would say when it comes to blending it because this is the part that you're actually going to see looking straight forward at someone so I'm trying to be really careful not to blend these colors too much into each other and make them stand out so these are my two eyelashes completed to fill them in with shadow to really seal in those colors, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Alien palette as well as the Rainbow Jawbreaker palette. I've gone through and cleaned off the brushes a little bit that I used before and I'm just going to be using the same ones to pack on the color. So the order that I'm using them in is Licorice, Sick, Wow, Flying Saucer, Soaked, and Area 51. I'm really packing on the color and making sure to do it on the top and under the lash. Now that I'm doing this, actually having no paint on the ends, it kind of helps like, grab the lash without getting paint everywhere. So since I didn't actually prime the purple section with the cream color, I'm really going to pack on this eyeshadow. Ooh, it works. Yay! This technique would work with just the white lashes if you want to prime them and you don't have any of the cream colors. You just have to make sure that it's a super pigmented, like this color is a pressed pigment, so that's why it's able to give off such a strong color. So if you don't have the rainbow wheel or a cream color to use as a base, some really pigmented shadows should work. So these are my completed lashes. To fill in my eyebrows, I'll be using the Sugar Pill Bulletproof Eyeshadow. My favorite eyebrow brush is the Moda Pro Brow Groomer. You want to make sure to use a brush that's the same thickness of your eyebrow. And to hold them in place, I'll be using the CoverGirl Brow Gel in the shade Deep. To seal in the tails of my brows, I'm using the House Labs Punk Eyeliner. First step for the perfect goth brows is to go through the brows with some gel. Now with the eyeshadow, I'm starting off by drawing my eyebrow on first from underneath. Now picking up some additional eyeshadow, I'm going through the middle of the brow and extending that out towards the arch. 
Once I'm happy with the color and the shape of it, I'm extending it out to my temples to create the tail. For the front of the brow, I'm just brushing the product through the hairs forward with the spoolie. And without picking up any additional product, I'm softly building up the brow shape from the bottom and blending with lighter brush strokes as I go up. This eyeshadow does a pretty good job of staying put and it doesn't really smear, but in order to give the really dark effect on the outer parts of my tail, I like to seal it with an eyeliner. This one in particular by House Labs has a slight sheen to it, which is not ideal for eyebrows. I don't want them to be shiny and I would recommend something matte, but I love using this one because the shine isn't too bad and this product does not move at all. It lasts very long. It dries pretty quick, so I'm making sure to blend that forward just so that it goes together with the rest of my brow. And then to clean up around the edges, I'm just going in with a concealer. Lately, I've been liking a very natural finish to the front half of my brows, and in order to avoid that blocky look, I blend my concealer in the center of my forehead, down in between my eyebrows with a beauty sponge. This is going to give the softest edges to the front of my brows. And to finish off the brows, I just brush them through one more time so that any of the clumps from the eyebrow gel get knocked off. Now with the Glam Goth Beauty Scorpio Glitter and Lit Cosmetics Glitter Glue, I'm going to be adding some glitter to these brows. This glitter adhesive is very liquidy, so I like to tap it on very lightly. And for the glitter, I'm using this tool. It's called the Glam Topper from Moda Pro, and I'm using it to really pack on the glitter. To kick off any of the glitter fallout, I'm just using a big fluffy brush. You can also use tape. To get started on the eyes, I'm tapping in the Morphe eyeshadow primer and then adding this black eyeliner pencil as a base for my black smoky eye. I'm adding this mostly to the lash line and kind of messily adding some more up onto the lid. To smudge out the liner, I'm using the Moda Detail Brush. I'm blending this liner up into the crease of my eye. Depending on what kind of eyeliner pencil you use, sometimes blending out the color can be kind of difficult. I would also recommend using the warmth from your finger and just blending it out that way. To pack on the bulletproof eyeshadow, I'm going to be using a shader brush and a smudging brush from Moda Pro. I'm starting off by setting the eyeliner using the smudging brush. This step is going to be to make the product as dark as possible, and with the help of that eyeliner, it's really going to make the color stand out. Now with the shader brush, I'm also packing on additional color, but this time I'm really thinking about the shape that I want. As you can see, I'm picking up color and placing it down where I want, and then once it's all off the brush, I'm using whatever's left over and buffing it out. I know black can be kind of scary to work with, so if you don't think that you can control the color on the brush that well, what I would recommend is taking the additional step of just using a crease brush without any additional product and running that over your edges. If you want more of a messy grungy look, you could stop here, but I'm going to go ahead and just repeat the steps a few more times to make sure that I'm happy with the way it's blended out. I'm going to add a highlight under the eyebrow using my face powder and the Moda Pro Detail Brush. This step also helps really soften the edge of my blending and helps me give one last good shape to the eyeshadow. Sometimes one side will be higher than the other or something, so this is a step that I really like to take in order to make sure that everything looks nice and even. Now that my eyeshadow is finally done, I can go ahead and add the lashes. I have been cursed with terrible eyelashes, which is actually a good thing for this look because I don't have to cover them up underneath these rainbow eyelashes. I just went ahead and gave them a little curl and a light coating of mascara so they don't get in the way of ruining the illusion of the colored lashes. I'm using the NYX Cappuccino Lip Liner. Let 
blending the edges of the liner towards the center of my mouth to give that kind of ombre effect to the lips. And the Milk Cosmetics Voyeur lipstick. And this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial for this makeup look. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel as well. For a closer look of this makeup, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Marilyn Mugbeat. I'll see you next time. Bye!